I'm fixing it. I'm filming it. Well, hello everyone. Well, today we're going to work on this trailer here. I just want to double check the electric brakes. I think one side is grabbing more than the other. So I don't know if it's a brake adjustment or a faulty magnet, but that's what we're going to do today. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to test electric brakes. This is a 3,500 pound trailer. I had a custom order because most single axle trailers do not require brakes, but I wanted brakes. Now, for this to work, of course, you need to hook it up to your truck, your SUV, but you got to have brakes on it. And in order for that, you got to have one of these brake controller. Now that one's an aftermarket one that is by Reese, but it could be any number of ones. Uh, this is a 2006 Chev, so it didn't come factory, but now the newer trucks uh, comes factory with a uh, built-in brake controller with gain. So really handy. So first things first, um, even on a factory truck, things can go rusty, lose connection and everything. So you want to make sure things are functioning properly. Here's a basic schematic that um, I made. And uh, your typical four pin, that's what you will see on a lot of smaller vehicles. You do not have the ability to have uh, brakes. So all it has is your ground, your running lights, brake lights, and your left and your right signal and your brakes. So, And here's a common relay. Those are the most common relays. So Bosch, he Healy, but sometimes you need them on certain applications, but you know, there's a diagram for that. But here's going to be your most common here, your seven pin and then your six pin. And interior, exterior. So to continue on with these tests, we want to make sure things are functioning properly. And that includes your connection at your seven pin. This is a seven pin connector. Now I have this nice fancy tester. You just plug it in and you kind of go through it. Now I believe the newer trucks even have self diagnostics, but uh, we'll plug this in and see what we get. Uh, we should have a left turn, tail markers, right turn, backup, which I don't have a backup, a uh, brake. That's what we want to see come on when I hit the brakes and a constant 12 volt. So let's plug this in and see what happens. So already I, I got a constant 12 volt and let's go through everything here, okay? Yeah, you can see my left tail marker. Yes, you can see my right tail marker. There you go, you can see the TM, that's uh, tail markers, that's your when your lights are on. Now let's try uh, the brake. What we can do also now is go to the actual brake controller and slide it and see if the brake light comes on with just that because your brake should work with your brake controller as well. So let's give that a try. Okay, so what you guys see? I'm in the truck. This is where you need a buddy to help you. But anyways, uh, I'll take a look back at the video. I'm sure it's working. So uh, we know we got a good connection back there. And like I said, factory connections at, at the truck, there's so much salt and dirt and everything. That's where connectors can get dirty, corroded, and loose. So confirmed, everything works there. Uh, since we have like minus 35 and 40 degrees Celsius winters I always take my battery out at winter time I don't leave it in the trailer so that's called your breakaway battery and I'll show you what that will do but let's test it make sure I got 12 volts and we got 13 volts more than enough there okay so let's install this Okay, so the idea of a breakaway box, and again, you want to tie this to your vehicle in such a way that it's independent of your chains. 
So even if this comes off and your chains are hanging, you want your brakes to come on, okay? So what, again, this will be tied to your vehicle. And in case of an emergency, this gets pulled out. There you go. Now, let's go to the wheels and the wheels should be locked. Okay, here's the driver's side wheel, should be locked. Yes it is, I have it off the ground. Let's go to the passenger side. There you go, that's, that's locked too. So again, I'm off the ground. So, we know our breakaway is working. Let's get on to the next test. Well, before we get on to the next test, let's make sure we put this back in. It can only go in one way. There you go. And to confirm, go to your tires, give them a rotation. Let's get this off. Won't even break it. Well, I'm glad that tool was given to me. Well, I have to grab some electricity. Like butter. Okay, let's get this cap off. So, got that off. Okay, so it was kind of tight. Just a little bit backed off. Spacer. And grab the bearings, drop the dirt. And well, of course, we will definitely repack these. Well, we've got this all apart. There we go. So, here's be what your armature is. This is your magnet. Now, most electric uh, brakes, magnets, have some hole indicators. And they're kind of like wear marks. As long as you can see them, they're wearing good. If you don't see them, well, then they have officially worn too much, and you best replace that magnet. Okay, you want to make sure that this your magnet moving freely too on its post because that's what gets sucks up to the back of the drum that's what gets sucked up to this back of the drum and that's what will make the depending if you're going forward or reverse so i'll suck out and grab the drum as it's rotating and so make sure everything moves nice and freely Okay, our next test will be, let's confirm the wiring. So basically, the main wiring is right here, this blue one, that's the main wiring that's coming from the front of the trailer. And then these two white tails, piggy tail, these two white wires, piggy tail to the two green wires going in here. And then the brown ones, they go to the, they go in inside the axle to the other side to connect to those two green wires. So that's how that works. So basically, if one side fails, the other side will still help. It'll still work. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start the truck and we're gonna to go to the brake controller and manually uh, press it in and out and we should see the voltage change. There you go, eight volts. So we're getting a good eight volts there for sure. Okay, release. I'm just going to go to the other side. Okay, so I did the other side. And why don't we measure the resistance of our magnet? They should be the same. Okay, so the other side measured 3.5, 3.6. Let's see what this side measures. 3.7, 3.6. So the other side measured the same. So the magnets are kind of working the same. But that's, that's good, that is within range. For this size, you contact your manufacturer, but again, this is two, two and a quarter by 10 inch. Our next test will be doing the amperage. To do the amperage test, we gotta know the positive side of it first, because that's what we'll have to disconnect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an amperage test, and for that, we need to do the positive side, disconnect that, we got to set our meter to amperage and make sure you can handle the amperage. 
Okay, this can handle up to 10 amps. So we're going to go there now. Okay, so we are on amps. So what we have to do, we have to kind of hook this in series. So we go from the, from the power to the continuing power of the magnet. All the way. So that's 2.34 amps. Okay, release. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, well, we're getting 2.3 amps here, 2.6 amps there. So we're all within specs. You can make sure they're adjusted properly. And uh, well, what we're going to do, we're going to wire things back up again and uh, repack the bearings. I won't show you how to do that. There's got to be tons of videos on, on that already. And uh, we'll get this thing buttoned back together. But all in all, everything is within specs. It looks good. So I'm just going to put a little, uh, little lithium grease on the moving points here. Make sure everything is moving properly. Feels like it is, but I think that's all the tests that we can do. Well, I got everything back on. Double check everything. Make sure it works. I'm just going to pull the uh, uh, brake away. Let's see if everything locks up. Pulling it now. There. That stopped it pretty good, didn't it? Double check with the other tire to make sure it's hooked, hooked up properly. Yeah. Let's see if they unlock when I rehook the breakaway switch. I can hear them. There we go. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how you test out your mag magnetic brakes all the way from your brake controller to your truck connection, trailer connection, all the way to the back. So I hope that helps you guys and uh, good luck with your project.